Hello, y'all. That's Ronnie B. Ronnie B in the house. Okay, so today is Sunday, and I am making my family a special dinner. Guess what I'm making? I am making some oxtails and gravy, some over some rice, some cabbage, and homemade sweet cornbread. Jiffy ain't got nothing on me, baby. <laughs> so check me out. If you like it, love it. All right, y'all. Okay, as you can see here, I do have some oxtails, beef oxtails, and I have a couple short ribs. Um, yeah, I have made a video before, but I only showed the after part. So a lot of people at church was like, but how you do it? So I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So these are some of the seasons I am gonna use. These are some of my favorite seasons, actually. I'm gonna hit these. I'm gonna hit them up real good. I'm gonna season both sides. This is um, onion powder. Just some onion powder. And uh, let's go with this one. This is Cajun. I love Cajun. I'm gonna be doing some fried turkeys for Thanksgiving as well. I'm going to be doing Cajun, and I'm going to be doing garlic herb. So if you're interested, you better get in now because they almost sold out. I said if you get them before um, uh, November uh, 18th, you get a $5 discount. So people been racking them up. They been racking up on them now turkeys. So this is the Creole seasoning. I just uh, threw a little bit of this garlic salt on there. So I'm finna hit them with this Creole. Oh, these are gonna be good, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I love this. This complete seasoning, you can tell I love it. It's almost gone. This is one of the ones that I don't like being without. My grandma said, you ain't never supposed to run out of salt. With me, I'm like, okay, no, don't run out of salt and don't run out of this complete seasoning. It's amazing, I love it. Then I'm gonna hit it with some black pepper. Hi. Hit it with this pepper. <clears throat> and the reason I'm showing you um, both of these is because I cook my um I cook the oxtails and the short ribs the same way when I'ma do them in the gravy. Oh. Afterwards y'all uh, after I season these my next step is I'm gonna pre-fry them because I want all these seasons to stick in here and plus I pre-fry them first so that when um, I bake them, they don't like fall apart. They still stay intact. So, one moment. What I'm gonna do real quick is I am going to turn the grease on. So about time we finish seasoning these, we'll see them. One second. Okay, so now these is all seasoned. These are all seasoned. And what I do, I'm gonna coat these in this flour. I use a bag. I get these from Sam's Club. I'm gonna use this bag um, to drop them in. Some people can coat them how they want, but I do them like this for the fact, the simple fact that I like to get all in the crevices of it, so that's what I do. And it's easier to me. I think that's about enough to fit in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just grab this bag right here like this, and there it goes. It just, 
hold them better to me. To each his own. Knock some of that flour out in there and see. They fully coated. And I am using, it was a trip that I found this. I'm using this Aunt Your Mama Self Rising Flour. I never saw this before. And when I saw it, I was amazed. So I'm using that. And let's go to the stove, y'all. Okay, so we finna lay them in here. And again, I'm just searing them. I'm not doing this to cook them. But by doing this step, we are locking those flavors in and also gonna keep them held together so that when we um, bake them, cause I'm gonna bake them after this, that all the flavors, I mean, they don't fall apart. I have some more room, so I'm gonna add like two more in there. Here can sit now. Get in where you sit. All right. So we gonna let these brown. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the sides too. So I'm gonna be turning these, I'm gonna turn them on the other side. And then I'm also gonna brown around the edges. I'm just trying to hold as much of this in as I possibly can. Okay, so we'll let that brown, and when we come back, I will show you the next step, all right? Okay, you all, so these have been seasoned. I mean, I'm sorry, seared, and this is what it should look like. Once you seared it and seared the edges, I've been searing these edges. So this is what it's gonna look like. Like I said, we did not, um, these, I'm just searing all that goodness in here. Look at that. Okay. Mm, it smells really good in here. Thank you, baby. Wait, just wait. The best part is yet to come. All right. After I fried, uh, pre-fried the oxtails, I am now gonna make a gravy to go on top of them. So watch what I do. I use that same grease that I pre-fried them in. Cause that, it got all the goodies in there. So we would not like for those to go to waste. I have this on, wait a minute. Okay, I have this on high. I'm gonna brown it up, brown it up. I'm just browning it to where I want it to go. I want a kind of a caramel dark. Ooh, it do something. Brown it up though. Messing with it. I'm gonna brown flip it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this gravy and then we're gonna pour it over here. And then we're gonna pop it, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. You'll see. And I have cut up some bell pepper and onion. This is where some more flavor gonna get in. I'm gonna sprinkle these. Sprinkle me, man. So when these cook in, these are gonna cook while it's baking. You should be here to smell my house when this happens. It's gonna explode. Let's turn. Let's check this. You don't want to burn your flour. That's not a good smell or a good taste. It's coming along. So, I am going to sprinkle them at you. Ooh, ee. Okay, now that I browned it all, I do have some uh, seasoned water. Watch this gravy, though. Watch this gravy. 
Thank you, Grandma. My grandmother taught me every, well, everything I know. I added on some stuff, but pretty much, I wouldn't be the cook that I am without my grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Rest in peace. I used to be standing on the little stu uh, stool watching Mama cook. So, that's where I got it from. I love you, Mama. Thank you. Everybody used to always meet at Mama's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I miss those days. I really do. But we must keep it moving in Jesus' name. So this um this gravy is actually gonna thicken up. So it's not gonna be watery like this. You'll see at the end. I have the oven currently at 400. I'm going to put it down to 375. And I'm going to... Okay. Um, I'm going to hit this gravy with some Richardshire sauce. I'm just... You guys, the seasons that I showed you ahead of time, I'm just reheating this gravy with it. I'm just reheating the gravy. Same that I used to season up those oxtails. Look at this gravy. Look how thick it got, y'all. This is gonna be good. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so good. It's thickening up already, y'all. I don't wanna put no more water because I want it kind of thick. I like it to stick to my rice. Okay, y'all. I am fin to attempt to pour this gravy on here. Look at that gravy. Just thickening it up all by its lonesome. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh wee, ooh wee. It's it, it's it, it's it, it, it. Thank you, God. Hold on, I'm getting the rest of that gravy. I will be getting the rest of that gravy, please. That's when I bring out this here spatula. Watch this. Look how the spatula get it, y'all. Look at that. This spatula don't play. It cleans your pot. It cleans the pot. I'm so happy how this came out, y'all. I'm glad I did this video today. Put the rest of them up in there. Okay. And I'm actually, because I know it's going to be thicker, y'all. I actually hit it with a little bit of water because this gravy is going to be nice and thick. I'm going to just hit it, mix it in a little bit. It's going to fall to the bottom anyway. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Papa. Bam! We are going to cover her. I want this to cook real good when my hot pot throw in this oven. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna throw this in the oven. I have the oven on at 375. I'm gonna set the timer for about, I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her more than that. 
I'm gonna give her an hour. There it is. So in an hour, we're gonna come back and we're gonna check what's going on, y'all. All right? All right. Okay, everybody. So we have the oxtails out the oven. Um, I cooked them at uh, 375. I cooked them for an hour covered, and then I took it off, the cover off, for another 45 minutes. Let's see what's in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's see this grape. Oh, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Yes. Let's see this gravy, y'all. Remember? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see what this gonna look like on a bed of rice. Let's make my husband play. I already put him some rice. I'm gonna give him a big one. Jesus. Look at this here, y'all. Let's give my husband some gravy. Let's get some gravy. Let me play. Ooh, he did not be happy. Cause I'm happy and I ain't even made my plate. Ooh, baby, look at this crazy. Ooh, slow, slow motion. Look at that, y'all. Look at it. Don't it look good? Thank you, Grandma, for teaching me how to cook. And you know what, y'all? I'm a... Uh, I have made, this is our Sunday dinner. The Today the oxtails was the main focus. I wanted to show y'all the main focus on oxtails, but if you want to know how I do my cabbage, how I do my Ronnie B's cornbread, remember Jeffy ain't got nothing on me. Then let me know and I'll show you. But right now, show them this, the inside of this pot. Our cabbage. Yes, sir. This Jeez. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is what I'm gonna serve with our meal today. Some good of my husband gonna love, love, love this. And look what I made. Ronnie B's cornbread. So I'm gonna cut him a piece of this. And I'm gonna call my baby in and eat. So I'm gonna cut this cornbread. Cut my baby some cornbread. Let's go. Let's go. This one looks bad. I'm gonna give him a big cornbread. <clears throat> I'm on the cornbread. Right quick now. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that cornbread. Mmm. It tastes like cornbread cake. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So you guys, here's my husband's plate. I'm gonna call him in, make the rest of our plates. Thank you for coming and uh checking me out. Um, if you have any questions, you know, go ahead, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. I want to thank you guys for joining me and watching my video and share me. Maybe somebody else want to learn how to get down like this. All right, y'all. Gone.